Hey guys! In this video, I'll be showing you how to go from this to this. I now, I personally, I know your struggles because I myself used to play on a GTX 1050 Ti, and that was an absolute potato of a GPU. And so really, whether you play on the worst PC specs or even the best, these few tips and tricks will help you see a boost in FPS. So make sure that you watch till the end to find out how you can optimize your PC for a better performance on Roblox. All right, and so for this first method, you're gonna go down to the Windows key option. You're gonna click on display settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down till you get to advanced display. You're gonna click on this drop down arrow box. Once you get here, you're gonna see choose refresh rate. So you're gonna click on this box. And so if you have a 60 Hertz monitor, the only highest option you're gonna have is 60 Hertz. But in some rare cases, you might have a 144 Hertz monitor that has been set up on 60 Hertz. So you haven't been using your full capability of it. So I personally suggest that you get the highest one possible. That way that when you play your games, they come out a lot smoother and less chunky than before. Okay, and for the second method, this is where you're gonna see the most improvement in your games. So just like before, we're gonna go down to the Windows key button. We're gonna click on here and type in graphic settings. You're gonna press down on this option. And so you're gonna see a list of all the games that you have. And you might see Roblox and you might not see Roblox. Like in this case, I have Roblox. But if you don't, for example, you're gonna go all the way up here. You're gonna click on browse. And some people may tell you to just go on the drive that you installed it and you're gonna go through all these files and you might not even find it. So the easiest way that I can tell you to do it is you're gonna go to this top right hand corner you're going to type in Roblox player. And once you click on that, you're just going to press enter. And it's going to take maybe two minutes, if not, maybe even less than that. So I'm going to skip for now until I get that. All right. And so should now load. You're going to press on this one, Roblox player. You're going to click on add. You're going to scroll down all the way down to the Roblox. You're going to click on options. And for some people, this might be completely different, but let's say, for example, if you have a CPU that has integrated graphics, you can have an option at the top here saying CPU and then integrated graphics, and then one that says GPU graphics, depending on the graphics card you have. Now, I personally recommend that you use your graphics card as that's what it's mainly used for. So in this case, I have high performance on this graphics card. So I'm gonna click high performance, I'm gonna click save and after making these couple changes you will see a drastic improvement in your games a lot more fps than before and so for the third method you're just gonna go down back to the windows you're gonna type in performance you're gonna see an option that says adjust the appearance and performance of windows now this is gonna be available from windows 8 all the way up to windows 11 the current version maybe even for window xp but however who even plays that anymore and so you're going to press on this option and the thing that you're going to be looking for is right here this option adjust for best performance you're going to press on here and all of these are really mainly for appearance and aesthetics rather than for performance now the one that i highly recommend clicking on is the one right here show thumbnails instead of icons now, if you don't select this option, what you will see is white paper icons on every file so that if you're going back to look for something, it's really going to be hard to differentiate and see what's the thing that you're looking for while everything looks the same. So after that, you're just going to click this apply button and you're done. And so for the next method, you're going to go and open up your search browser and click on this. You're going to type in Roblox FPS on Blocker. You're going to click on this recent one by Austin. Scroll down all the way down here. You're just going to click and install this. Now I already have installed this. Now this one is mostly controversial in the sense that people have been saying that this might cause you to get a virus. But that's not the case for me since I've been using this for quite a while and it has not done anything. I think the reason for this is because it's an executable file, so Windows usually triggers this as a virus. But 
If you have nothing to worry about, I would extract it and I would install it. You'll see this red application, you open it and you should be good. This very next trip is very easy. It might be a little more intimidating for someone new, but you're gonna just type in disk cleanup. You're gonna open that up. You're gonna click on your main one, which in this case, it's gonna be your C drive most likely. Click okay. All right, and you're just gonna get this slightly intimidating little box here that opens up here. And you're gonna get all these different types of options. Now, you're gonna click on clean system files after you click all these choices. So I recommend you clicking on checking on all the ones that are taking up the most space. In this case, Recycle Bin is taking up 39 gigabytes of space. And so for those who might not know, the more stuff that you have on your drive, when it gets too overloaded, it tends to slow down your computer. So just check out the things that have the most space taken. And once you click on that, you will just click on clean up system files. files it's gonna say cleaning up this machine Goodbye. all right and after that you just completed a nice clean up of your disk now the final trick might be a little more obvious to some players and for some might not be so i'll be showing this so the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna open up the game any game in this case i'm gonna choose arsenal it's an amazing game you're gonna wait till it opens up and once you're in the game, you're just going to click the escape button, go all the way to the settings. And for those who have never touched this, this is going to be their first time you're going to see this graphics mode thing. And for some people it might be an automatic, I highly discourage you to use this. Instead, I recommend that you click on manual. And if you're getting a lot of FPS and you want to sacrifice for some nice graphics, you can bump it up all the way up. As you'll see, you'll see some shadows as I go back and forth. And if you're struggling to get a little more FPS, you can just lower it a little bit and you'll start to see a little more change. Now, to see how much FPS you're getting, the best, coolest trick you can do is just click Shift F5 and right over here, you'll see all the FPS that you're getting here. Right over here, this top number. Now, it's going to be a little hard to tell, but you can tell it's in the 200s only because your frames keep changing left and forward. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. It would be very greatly appreciated. See you in the next one.